I'm Miriam Raftery with East County Magazine, and it's my pleasure today to be here with Allie Jordan, who is one of the organizers of La Mesa's first Juneteenth celebration. Yeah, thank you. Big occasion. Big occasion. Tell us about it. What what uh, prompted you to start the festival, and what's it all about? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, you know, La Mesa's had its ups and downs, and we just wanted to bring La Mesa back together. And after Juneteenth, the riot, after, after the, the riots, riot, that's, right. Ago, yeah. that's right. That's mm right. -hmm. Um, and. You know, Juneteenth is a celebration of African American history. Um, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. We celebrate Oktoberfest. Um, we even celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So um, Juneteenth is just one of those celebrations of diversity in La Mesa, and I think La Mesa uh, embraces that kind of diversity. And we run to show uh, La Mesa that we still have that diversity, and uh, we enjoy everybody's company. And that's why it's called La Mesa Juneteenth and friends. For those who are not familiar with the history of Juneteenth and what it means in the African American community, can you let us know? Yeah, well Juneteenth is about uh, 1865 where the last slaves were freed. So uh, the Proclamation, Emancipation Proclamation in 19, it's 19, um, 1863, um, most slaves didn't know that they were free. And so there was slave, Galveston is a port city, and the Union came in boats, uh, half African American, half white, and they came to let the slave and the slave owners know that they were finally free two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. So this was the final day that slaves were free. And order number three, which the mayor is going to read us today, uh, made African Americans employees and the employers, employers, the slave owners, employers. So that was the, the saying that was made in order number three. So they're no longer slave and slave owner, they were employee, employers. So even though slavery ended nearly 120 years ago, Alan, obviously the lingering effects of it live on. Can you tell us why it's important to know about this and what you hope people will take away from it today? What still needs to change? Well, I think everybody's a part of our history in America. And I think everybody needs to know the participation of certain cultures in our history in the United States. So it's important to remind people that everybody had a contribution for this American to beat America in the way we are today. And this is just a reminder of that. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking earlier about how there's still prejudices out there oh, and discrimination to overcome, not only against African Americans, but against many different absolutely. minorities. And it's just important to show that in La Mesa, we're all about diversity here, according to the police chief, according to everybody here. I'll tell you what, the city council has been great. Uh, Marco Rapidstathis, the mayor of the city, has been great. Um, the city council, Jack Shue, has been here setting up since 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, talking this morning. Chief Sweeney has been, is here. So we have a lot of participation and a lot of support. We have a lot of support for the businesses on the boulevard, uh, a lot of food places. Of course, we have Lane's Barbecue here. We have breakfast and coffee here. We have just a, a whole bunch of people that are coming together to celebrate. Uh, Juneteenth, and I think it's important, and it's, it's not just African Americans here. We have black, white, Mexican, Hispanic, all kinds, Asian, all kinds of people here to celebrate Juneteenth, because it's a celebration of everyone, That's and not just African Americans. Tell us about some of the ways in which African American culture has contributed, some of the things people may not know that originate out of African American origins. Well, that's a great question. Like jazz is an obvious Well, one, yeah, you have jazz, you have dance, you have, you have singing, and you, you know, you've got a lot of important things. Uh, heart surgery was originally done by an African American. People don't know that. Really? Absolutely. Fascinating. The peanut butter was the <laughs> cotton gin. Those kind of things were contributions. Um, my dad, for example, was the first black coach uh, in the Pac-12. If Very you're good. familiar with uh, college football, he was the first black coach with the Los Angeles Rams. I can't in imagine UCLA. pro sports without black athletes in their Isn't contributions. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> right. I mean, Many in our lifetime. World records were set by them. Right, in our lifetime. Yeah. So it's That's very, true. it's not, you know, not in the past, it's in the, it's, it's within our lifetime. So it's very important that we just maintain that history so that everybody knows and everybody understands the contribution that, that we've made, so. Very good. What can people see and hear if they come out today? Uh, they're going to hear some great music. Or we to have, get your events, you know. Yeah, we have the Martin Luther King Choir that's going to perform. Um, we have Dr. Uh, Avery Caldwell, who is a professor at San Diego State, who organized some great history about uh, African Americans and Juneteenth that will be speaking as well. 
Um, we have uh, Dr. Weber who's going to come, and I'm not sure if she's going to speak, but she's going to. Akila Weber? Akila Weber. Uh -huh. Our assembly and she, woman. And she's going to uh, come out and just meet and greet everybody. Um, and there's a lot of different vendors out there. There's there's some great vendors out there, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, jewelry, um, arts. Jewelry, and... arts, uh, everything. And it's dog friendly. We got a lot of people that have brought their dogs and their pets and, and getting ready to enjoy a great entertainment uh, stretch Wonderful. along with some history. So we're excited to have everybody here. You've told me you're starting a nonprofit, Juneteenth La Mesa? Yep, we are going to. We're, right now, we're we're actually self-funded because, uh, you know, we didn't get very many sponsors and it came together rather quickly. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we had the volunteers, they pitched in some money and I pitched in some money and we brought it all together. So next year, we had so much interest and so many people saying they wanted to join the celebration. <laughs> it's going to get bigger. Very so. good. Well, we're seeing a lot of people arrive already and yes. we're looking forward to this being an annual event. Thank wonderful. you, Alan, for joining us well, and taking Time to talk with us today. Thank you for having me. You're wonderful. I read your column all the time. I see you all the time. Been in the Thank paper. You. And Look you at can that. also come out and get these great shirts. Absolutely. <laughs> okay.